Uh, and so moving away, the term clean energy has handicapped the field because that makes people think, well, maybe it's just electricity in passenger cars and they don't see agriculture, industry, uh, you know, buses, trains as, as part of the problem. One crucial part is agriculture. And one thing you said you were particularly surprised by was how great a problem bovine flatulence is. Do you exactly. want to explain what that is and why it's a problem? Yeah, so the animals that can eat grass have very unusual stomachs that have these uh, bacteria that are methanogenic in there. And so they leak uh, natural gas, both out the front and the back. Uh, and so people have said, well, let's change the hay or throw some things in there. Uh, and it's been, nobody knows how to get rid of no that. No how to get cows to stop farting. Exactly, or burping. Uh, and so there is artificial meat, but that's at a very early stage. But that's another big source of greenhouse gas emissions. So, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that the people who acknowledge the problem, which I think is fantastic, that they understand the breadth of innovation required before you can get anywhere near what we have to do, which is zero. If it was a 50% reduction, then you could ignore, okay, leave the cows alone. Uh, uh, but because we're trying to avoid the temperature continuing to go up, you do need to go to zero. Otherwise, you're, you're continuing to have temperature increase. You threw a, a party 